Most kids' video games have really dull music. The same little bleeps and blips repeat over and over until you get to the next level. Games for adults are getting more sophisticated. There's someone in my apartment. Stay here and cover me. Real actors, high production values, just like proper movies. An emergency alarm going off in Alex's But a movie is a linear experience, which music can easily enhance. <laughs> Whereas most of these new interactive dramas are actually a series of branching choices, pre-recorded segments so that you can have pre-recorded sections of soundtrack to accompany them. But storing all the possible tracks for every possible outcome is hugely demanding and expensive and still not at all versatile. But a good game or a good theme park ride is like a little world unto itself. And like the worlds we live in, the sounds we hear are associated with individual people and places. In a world where the sounds we hear are generated by our actions, our actions compose the soundtrack to our lives. and the everyday objects around us become our musical instruments. Even the mood that I'm in on a given day will affect the kind of music that I generate. One day I may be feeling very laid back, and another day... ...very aggressive. Video games and virtual reality usually allow us to escape to somewhere a little bit more glamorous than a, than a kitchen. And yet the music is usually so irritating that I end up turning it off altogether. But I started thinking about how the objects and the spaces in my everyday life generated their own soundtrack. And I began to wonder whether I could maybe take the objects and spaces and the goals, the treasures in a computer game and write a computer program that would allow me to attach musical events to those actions within the game. In this little scenario, I've come up with an imaginary game in which the object is to go into a cave and to get a key from an old alchemist who lives there. Legend has it that he has some strange creature that lurks in the cave with him. Now, once I'm inside the cave, I can spend as long or as short a time as I like just looking around. But then a different kind of player might decide he wants to get through it very, very quickly. And my program has to know how I'm playing the game. Now, the level of my cursor activity actually dictates the tempo of the music. Steal the treasure. Uh-oh. Frighten the bats. When the old alchemist comes, I'm going to kung fu kick him, steal the key, and uh, get the hell out. What have ears but no eyes? And hair but no teeth? Hey, give me a break, old man. aggressive approach wasn't the answer either. You may notice, though, that the same musical elements were basically being used there to give me a far more tense and dramatic soundtrack. Everything was locked to a, a higher tempo and a different key signature. Now, each one of these sounds is actually stored in the computer as a sample. So, behind the scenes, I have a little mixer, and what I'm really doing by moving my cursor around is pushing these faders up and down just like faders on a regular mixing desk. So, as I move around a space... I'm actually varying the mix in real time by pushing the faders up and down. Look at the treasure. 
steal the treasure. Look at the bats. Frighten the bats. If you go and look at these individual samples, there's actually a kind of a virtual keyboard here. Which is playing melodies based on what I do within the game. What have ears, but what have ears, but no eyes? What have ears, but no eyes? Yes, I have. Yeah. Oh, then inflame thy fountain. What have ears, but no eyes? And hair, but no teeth. Why, corn on the cob, of course. Thank you. Go then and claim thy bounty, but mark me well. Yes? Depart not by the way you came. Uh, try this way. The technique of attaching a melody to a particular character or action is not particularly new. Prokofiev did it in Peter and the Wolf, and film music composers have been doing it ever since. But a film is a passive experience, whereas a video game or virtual reality is interactive and non-linear and unpredictable. For the first time with this program aviary, it's possible to generate a musical score which is always appropriate to the dramatic and emotional setting of the game.